snapped a rod dancing to the right. Looking, lost it, right sideline, over the shoulder, yes. and it's made by Devontae Adams, and he's gone for the touchdown! Oh, what a way to start! Blake Bortles takes the snap from the backup center, protected decently, now he's hit, he's sacked by Brian Robinson! Oh, Brian Robinson caught Blake Bortles from behind! Great job, great start by the defense. That is one of the all-time best <laughs> sack dances. i got to start with that right there, Buck. We've got uh, Vikings and Packers here. And Aaron Rodgers going up against a pass defense. Look, the numbers buried out. They're, they're legit. But, man, last week, look what the Colts did to this team. Absolutely ate them up. But it, it goes back to the quarterback. The quarterback has been on fire. Aaron Rodgers has really done it. 22 touchdowns since week seven. Pass a rating of 110.2 in his career against the Minnesota Vikings. Look, that's a tough deal to come up with a solution for being able to stop what Aaron Rodgers likes to do from the pocket. Yeah, they have a lot of talent in the back end, and they can normally heat up the quarterback. Sitting here at 7-7, seven and seven, this is a gotta-have-it game if you're the Minnesota Vikings. You get Adrian Peterson back last week, didn't do a whole lot, but the pass D has to keep Aaron Rodgers in check in order for them to, to have a chance in this one. All right, how about best matchup you're looking forward to? You know, my favorite X Factor in most games have been Todd Montgomery, but now I think it's the big matchup because he's proven himself to be a nice running back. Last week rushed for 162 yards, physical with the ball in his hands, something that you don't really expect from a guy that was a wide receiver coming into the league. They moved the running back, had success. Eric Kendricks has to be on his P's and Q's. He has to slow down Todd Montgomery. Can't let the Packers have a balanced approach because if they do that, it makes Aaron Rodgers even more dangerous in the back. Yeah, we we'll might have to get him a two instead of an eight there with that 88. We might have switched up to 28 the way he's been uh, running the rock there for Green Bay. I'm going to go give my X Factor, though, defense Julius Peppers and what he can bring to the table, Bucky, when he wants to go. As you saw last week, sack, force, fumble, fumble recovery. He got four sacks in his last five games. When he cranks up that motor, there's nothing you can do about it. And this offensive line from Minnesota, no bueno. So I think you see Peppers get that motor cranked up, have a huge impact, and become the X factor, the real difference maker in this game. He's beginning to heat it up as we come down the stretch. They've been saving him, preserving him, keeping him ready for the stretch run. I think we're now seeing Julius Peppers get unleashed because the defense is playing well, creating turnovers, and Aaron Rodgers is playing at a sensational rate. I'm going to Packers in this one. And I'm going to say, look, Frank Gore got 100 yards last week against this Viking defense. Ty Montgomery goes for 100. Ty Montgomery, again, this week goes over 100 yards. I like the Packers as well. Always a physical, fun football game to watch. Looking forward to this one.